All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. I just thought I would talk a little bit about uh, copper. I feel like we're at a point, you know, I streamed earlier today and uh, we noticed how much copper uh, lake seemed to be changing, spots seemed to be adjusting a little bit. We went through uh, a sort of a different weather, weather pattern, I guess, yesterday. And then today the temperatures were sort of back to normal. And um, as that happened, though, a lot of the fish that we were used to catching, hey, this is perfect timing. This is like one of the main culprits on why this uh, bucket spot is so different. All of a sudden, the dinks uh, mirrors and the dinks linears just aren't coming out here as much. Neither are the orangies or anything else very rare. I've had one orangey. That's our first dinks mirror. Let's go down the list here. Uh, regular mirror carp is like all the time. But orangies, no. Tent, yes. Orangies, no. Eyed a little bit. We trophied eye er eyed earlier today. Gibbles, yes. F1, yes, including a couple of trophies. Dinks mirror carp, no. Crucians, not much. Common carp, at least on the bet the setup I'm using. Common carp, not too much. So earlier today, it's interesting because we did have a lot more common carp earlier. But I was using um, the more, I guess more used combination of baits that involve the classic hair rig with the sweet pellets as well as the uh, caramel boily. Well, right now catching these F1 trophies, what we're back to is um, really just leaning into, I guess the sort of the idea is the best thing that's coming out at this bucket spot, this 6758 bucket spot right now is, um, and I'm telling y'all, this thing is changing right before our eyes. No dinks mirror earlier today, no dinks mirror tonight since I've been fishing here. And now all of a sudden we've had two in a row. Anyway, mostly what I've been doing though is just trying to lean into what the bucket spot is giving us, which what I was about to say is F1s and tench. And so especially the F1s, the current bait setup I'm using, I'm really just trying to learn, lean into the F1 possibility. And we have had a couple of trophies, so I feel like it's been pretty good. I think we are at about 700 silver at an hour. So really good silver. And that's primarily just on hitting those F1s. I mean, I'll break it down for us once we get back over there. Of course, this is gonna slow us down and disrupt what I was hoping to just be a very short video and show you kind of how things are going. But, you know, you get a screamer on like this and it's not really fair not to kind of show you the show you the fish fight, let you see if it pops off or not and maybe even see what it is. But this will definitely uh, increase the length of, of this video a little bit. We'll still hopefully get in and out of here pretty quick though. If this fight keeps going like this for long, I'll just like pause the middle part of the fight. Yeah, he might calm down pretty soon though. So yeah, just trying to lean into those F1s. And the way to do that right now for me seems to be going back to the basics here, just with sweet caramel corn and this uh, milk cream dip. And then the PVA I've been using is pretty much the PVA or similar to the PVA that I think I and a lot of other people have been using. Some combination of caramel and sweet cream stuff. The one that I've actually been using here most recently was Caramel 8 Oilies Crushed Up with Sweet Cream 3, 6, and 8 as the additives. Of course, corn flour as the base and then the um, caramel at attractant at the bottom. 10, 10 gram bag of PVA, but I actually did not have PVA on this middle rod. I have switched the middle rod a good bit. I was trying like sweet cream boilies, uh, more classic hair rig style stuff. Ultimately, I just think leaning into trying to get a very good bite rate and catch as many decent F1s as you can is a really good way to approach the bucket spot right now. Now we fished some other spots today and there's some interesting things going on at other spots at, at um, at Copper Lake, but I still really like the bucket spot. It, it 
it changed kind of abruptly and some people maybe before adjusting their approach to the bucket spot just kind of bounced off really quick because they saw too many common carp coming out or uh, felt like it was just drying up on them. And I do get if you don't have PVA or spod, it may be hard to drum up enough of a bite rate to make it worth it since a decent amount of, uh, we don't really want to do it this way, but I'm just realizing like it's probably worthwhile to get a little closer to the water here. Uh, a decent amount of small fish potential is there right now. And so if you're not getting as good a bite rate because of just being lower percentage on ground bait or on bottom fishing, then yeah, it might not be as good as it was. I think the bucket spot was so good and copper in general has just been so good that even without PVA, people have been um, still seeing really nice results. But that's not always going to be the case, and I just don't know right now. Is this a mirror? Is all this just for a regular mirror? It looks like it is, unfortunately. Probably about a 14 kilo mirror. I do run 18. You've been in my stream lately. You know I've been running these 18 strength lead core and leaders. Just because at the end of the day, we haven't really been catching that big a fish at copper at least with most of the setups i can always adjust them if i'm trying to target something a little bigger here but um it's made fishing carp a lot of fun again running these sort of undersized setups uh i've, re I've actually really enjoyed that all right yeah this is just going to be a, a standard mirror carp he's not even that chubby um but you know price we pay and it's so weird, like as soon as I hit record, something weird started happening at that spot. The mirror carp got really big and the dinks mirror showed up. I mean, I've been here for a full hour and I fished here earlier today. And one of the things that was note noteworthy was just how it didn't seem like, did I say 14 kilos? I think I called that. It didn't seem like the, the dinks were here at all. And I think that's one of the reasons initially it seemed like the spot was drying up a little bit because if you just got on the streak of just felt like you were catching a few gibbles and maybe a tinch and you know you didn't adjust the baits or kind of how you were approaching it then uh yeah i mean it's like a little abrupt but um wow every once in a while things just work out like i just hit record at the right time These mirror carp. All right, 5.8 mirror. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. All right, so this is the setup we're using. Notice I did push up to one knot hook. I've played around with it too. Sometimes I use four, size four hook. I've been all over the place. Sometimes large ones, sometimes one knot. I don't know how much of a difference it's really making, to be honest with you. They're just we're just catching really nice F ones at the moment. Uh, as I told you, this is the PVA we're using. So that's the setup, and uh, really just wanted to make this video mostly because this spot has just suddenly become really fun again since I've adjusted uh, kind of how I was approaching it. Hey, there's a uh, oh no another dinks. I thought that was gonna be a common for a second. I don't know. Hey, it's this is wild. It's just like changing right in front of us. Uh, okay, so let's see. So because of how long that took, we are at an hour ten minutes. So that's gonna change it a little bit. But we're up to nine twenty-five. Now you gotta remember that's three trophies here. And so obviously, if you take these off. I mean, it's still good silver, but part of why this spot's so fun right now is because we are hitting these trophies. Look at all these F1s. Again, you're just leaning into what the lake and the spot is giving you. And what that is, is really nice F1s at the moment. At the moment. All right, I, we're going to leave it at that. Again, we're trying to go short on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how your fishing's doing at, at uh, Copper Lake or elsewhere. And... Um, 
tight lines.